Hi, Zizrin here with another video and uh, today we're going to talk about the campaign skip in Last Epoch. Diablo 4 has a very easy campaign skip that as long as you've completed the campaign one time, you can just forever skip it and instantly start on the endgame content. Path of Exile offers no such feature. There is a lot of like twink items and stuff like that that can make you go further and faster through the campaign. However, in Last Epoch, it has a very unique feature where you can actually go to the monolith system, which is um, Last Epoch's endgame system, as early as level 15. Now, obviously, the areas are still level 58, so you will die repeatedly. You will get a lot of XP, surprisingly, but you will die a lot. So going as early as 15 is not a good hardcore option, but level 30, 32 is uh, when I've been going, and it's been pretty okay, and you have a good campaign skip. But Zizarin, what about my passive points, or you can see in the bottom left here, and the idle slots? Well, you actually have a good way to get those easier after you level up in monoliths fast. So uh, there's a few things here that I'll go through. First, how do you get to the monoliths? So as soon as you encounter the end of time, which is roughly around level 15, all the way on the right to this zone, you can get into the monoliths of fate and, um, and just start mapping and start with the end game system. Now, be very careful in the start. I would recommend having fist resistance then Void, probably Poison. After that, it's kind of whatever. Like I had like very little of most of it, and uh, Fizz is the most important. Generally, craft your gear as much as you can for the current level. And another thing, some of you might have found items with legendary potential on other characters. If you have that, uh, turning them into legendaries, like smashing it with a rare item, will not lower or uh, change the level of requirements. So if you have like a Firestarter's Torch, and you manage to get 170 fire damage on that, that's huge. With that in mind, you can then start doing monoliths, and yeah, you will just be mapping. Very, very dangerous in the start. What I was doing was, if I found a zone with very safe monsters, I'd be full clearing that zone. If I found one with really dangerous monsters, I would be instantly leaving, or at the very least, only doing the objective. And obviously, uh, keep an eye out for experience shrines and stuff like that. You don't need to worry too much about the quest echoes, um, I only do that once I'm like level 60 plus. But then what do you do once you're high enough level and you're like, well, I do want the rest of my idols and I do want the passive point plus one all stats from Kelly Majasa at the end of the campaign. Well, then you grab a temporal sanctum key. You find these anywhere, um, especially from those like chests. And uh, once you have it, you right click it. Now you're not going to have this waypoint. So you need to go back to the Imperial era. And if you don't have this, then you do need to progress the campaign to this point. Some of the other dungeons will uh, allow you to do some other faster skips maybe, but you get this around level 28 to 32. So doing it at this level is what I usually recommend. Whenever you have a key in the right part of this zone, as you can see me entering it here, this opens and you can go in here and you have to run through a zone. It's like a big horseshoe. You have to run around, kill a little bit of a dangerous monster at the end. And this actually uh, is a quest that unlocks two or three idle slots as well. Um, so it'll look like this. You do the dungeon, you kill Jolra, that's the boss I'm fighting here in the background. And once you finish that, and, and she is pretty dangerous. Once you uh, finish that, it puts you out here, out of the Temporal Sanctum. And you appear in the Radiant Dunes, you start getting waypoints here. And you now continue, you do the Observatory, you finish the campaign. And then you'll see there is a lot of quests here in Act 9 that will finish off your passive point and idle slot rewards. So you don't need to do lag on or like 90% like of the campaign. It's so much faster. And then to get your final idols, the last three, all you have to do is go here in the Imperial area to the Risen Lake, go to the Soulfire Bastion, so that requires this key. And uh, once you finish that, it will unlock the uh, Heoboria area. And then there will be quests here for your final idol slots. I think it's a really good way to, to do it. So I wanted to make this video and um, show that off. Because I think it's uh, it's quite good. So uh, it's a nice middle ground before between uh, Path of Exiles, no campaign skip, and Diablo 4, skip the campaign forever. I don't think that's a good option either. So for experienced players, this will probably take anywhere like two to four hours. So anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you have any additional tips or how to make people go faster. I hope this video helps you. Maybe you didn't know about the campaign skip, so hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than my voice does.